Hey boos, how you doing? I feel like I have a new attitude with the new hair. Hey guys, so today is going to be a new sketch day video because I ran into something while I was shopping and it wasn't something, it was someone and two girls in particular and their relationship towards each other and just how I see this so many times. This isn't the first time this has happened to me and I'm going to be talking about body positivity. So to kick off this body positivity sketch, I found this random, really cool vintage looking art piece. I don't know if it's vintage. It just looks like it a little bit to me. And I found it on Tumblr and it is so cute. It just warms my heart up about this girl who's a full figured, beautiful, gorgeous girl. And she has this little boy next to him who absolutely adores her. And I just love stuff like this and I don't see as many full-figured, healthy girls in art pieces as much. So today is going to be about that. So let's get on with this drawing. So these two girls I ran into, let me tell you, here is what happened from my side of the story. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed that I did go this weekend to this big sale. It's not just a one weekend, one day sale thing, but it's this place that's a surplus outlet store for Urban Outfitters here in America, in LA, they have this huge store where all their clothes, they're usually like $80 for a little dress. So you go there and it's like 40% off. Long story short, this is not just for girls, but people in general who feel uncomfortable about their bodies. And let me tell you, when I went to check out what the clothes would look like on my body, you know, where you go to the fitting room to fit your clothes in some stores, and all of a sudden I hear these two girls next to me. I don't know what they look like. I didn't like follow them or check out what they look like or talk to them. Maybe I should have said something because I felt so bad. There was two girls and one girl was really upset because I guess the medium sizes weren't fitting her. So I don't know if she had a large chest or what have you and she was really hurt that maybe she had to go up to a size large and honestly here's a tip for me always get a size bigger so that you could when you go to try them out you won't be upset then you could be like oh I need to get this a size smaller and you feel good about yourself because this girl got one that was too small and she told her best friend they were quote unquote friends that oh my gosh I feel fat I need to go to a large and you know what her friend I'm putting air quotes a friend said she said do not worry you said you're gonna lose weight soon so you're gonna lose that weight you're fat now these words came out of her mouth. You're fat now, but you were gonna lose weight later. So buy it, so maybe she'll lose weight later. Is that what she was saying? Not even that was irritating me. What was irritating me was that she was calling her friend fat, and I know this word has really negative connotations towards everybody, especially girls in the media. And it's not only girls, it's guys who feel uncomfortable about their bodies lately and what the media is portraying in these magazines. And I could tell you from I'm here till the day I die about how upset I get that all these girls not only girls but guys too they feel so hurtful and so much pain against their bodies and I have so many letters of girls talking about how they get bullied because of their bodies how they feel horrible about their bodies depression anxiety self-harm everything in the book and it is so upsetting and I really wanted to stand up and talk to this girl but we were in front of at least 20 people I didn't know what room they were in I don't know what these girls look like if their parents were there because they sound Sounded young just felt like I had to do something and I didn't do it and maybe I was in the wrong for standing by but I felt so bad because I heard that pain you hear in a girl's voice or any human's voice when they do not feel not only not good about themselves and not only not confident but just a pain deep inside of hurt that they're revealing that deepest hurt in their body towards someone who's supposed to be their friend that they care about and they get that rejection back. I don't know if this girl, you should not be friends with that person. I wouldn't. I've been in friendships like that and they were 
horrible and I didn't realize till later that I need to get away and sometimes you need someone to take your head and shift it over towards that way to tell you that look friend you need to not have this person in your life because not just don't tell them that but show them all the things that this person is doing so that is why I'm drawing this picture because I wanted to find something that was body confident most models I think the statistics are their waists have to be 22 inches around that average Plus size models have to be around a 28 inch waist, around that average. Most average people are way above plus size and most plus size models do not look anywhere near plus size. It is what you're seeing in the media, in the magazines that you're picking up. Girls, I'm especially talking to you. It is all Photoshop. There's been tons of people doing their hair, their makeup. They even put tape by their eyes when you see them on the TV shows that lift up their eyes and go behind their weave or near their hairline that you don't see on camera and they do that behind the scenes. There's so many things. There's Spanx, there's girdles, there's everything. You do not know what you're seeing. It's not who these people truly are. And I just need to get this off my chest and I found this drawing on Tumblr, this art piece. It was so cute. It just makes me smile. It took me around 45 minutes to redraw this with my pencils at home in the sketchbook. I was listening to this new band, Dead Man something, I forgot what it was called, I'll put the name of it in the description box, cause it was so magical, I just randomly found this and they sound like if they were a band that played in the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland, like that they were inspired from the sounds and tones in there, like they rode the ride a whole bunch of times, I don't know. It sounds like pirate-y kind of, like Haunted Mansion, dark, it's hard to explain. But this rant just had to happen and this drawing came from it. So I hope you guys like this sketch today and what I would like to know today is what is something in what situation has someone made you feel uncomfortable? I know it's really sad and kind of upsetting subject but I'm really interested to know because everyone has been hurt by something someone said sometime in your life. It happens. We don't always meet people who like us, unfortunately. The bullying cases lately just never end. But thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and before I forget, I want to do an apology to people who have been trying to buy prints of the Cat's Creations videos. I tell you that you could buy the prints on my Etsy store, and I'm so sorry. I don't know what other prints I forgot to make, but the one with the bad Santa tattoo of the bad Santa from Rise of the Guardians, that one is not available. I accidentally sent it to the person who won the drawing without making scanned copies for myself to make prints for you guys. I feel so terrible. I need to get on top of it. I'm doing all this by myself and sometimes it gets crazy but I'm very grateful and fortunate and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you guys it's been one year anniversary since the art gallery and I am just reflecting on everything and I love you guys so much you do not know how much you mean to me and I will be definitely be seeing you soon video on Friday I'm gonna try to do it and on Monday and I love you guys so much can't tell you enough bye and in the history of all these Cats Creations videos, this was the closest, like, voting thing ever. Like, I think the one that won only had, like, seven more votes than the one that was in second place. But today's comment that had the most votes on my Facebook page came from Rhino Foster. And he suggests that I draw a female Jack Skellington and a male Sally. And hopefully we could do this justice. We'll just have to see. I don't know where you're going, but see you got room for one more trouble, so 